You ever have one of those moments where you hear a song and it brings back old memories? Usually when I get one of those memories, it brings me back to this place, or this river where I grew up. I don't remember exactly when I caught my first smallmouth on the Niangua, but I do remember throwing a buzz bait across an eddy and hooking into this fish that seemed to be bigger than I was. I remember holding that fish on the gravel bar and it was like a seven inch smallie. And I was so surprised because when I was reeling it in, I could have sworn it weighed 20 pounds. My name is Nathaniel Maddox. I am the eighth generation of men by that name who have lived on the banks of this river. My ancestors on both sides of the family came here in the early 1800s looking for a new life, a new start, some land that they could settle on. Most people consider this river to be a trout river. And if we're considering tourism dollars, then I guess that's true. But the trout only live in roughly 15 mile stretch of a 140 mile river. So I would argue that the trout is not the king of the river. The king of the river is smallmouth. And I always thought that uh, it was the smallmouth river of the state, but you don't hear much about that. Trout fishing in general is noted for fly fishing. Although there's a lot of other fish that we would fly fish for, but when you talk about fly fishing in the Ozarks, it just seems like trout take the dominant picture. And we're missing out on the native fish in the Ozarks. The smallmouth is neglected, so to speak, especially for fly fishermen. In some ways, this river, the fish in it are tailor-made for, for a fly rod. You don't have that many deep holes. Uh, you know, smallmouth being aggressive and hanging on structure. You know, it's kind of the home river where I started, so it's always going to have that special, special place. Jeff Trigg is definitely the most knowledgeable fly fishing smallmouth guy on the Niangua, and maybe even in the Ozarks. This dude knows every single eddy, every rock, every sunken log on the stretch of the river that holds the biggest fish. This is a stretch of the river that has zero public access. You have to commit to a 25 mile float to even work your way through it. But on the other hand, this stretch of the river holds the biggest fish, there's no doubt about that. And if there's ever a guy to be out here fishing with, it's Jeff. I feel really, really honored that I even get to get in the boat with him and learn from him. This lower portion of the river is really, really special to me. All of this land around me was once owned by my great, great, great grandpa. And that farm is actually still owned by some of my cousins, some of my distant relatives today, so it's still in the family. And our farm's only about 15 minutes from the river, so when the bite is on, I take full advantage of my quick access. Oh yeah, got one, oh my, did you see that? He came right off of it. Awesome. Nice. <laughs> Yeah. 
is. Got them through both lips. <laughs> Long before my ancestors showed up here in the early 19th century, long before the Missouri Department of Conservation, before all the dams that have changed the river's course, the smallmouth bass was here, doing exactly what it does today. If you really think about it, we have evolved and they have stayed the same. They've continued to reproduce without our help. They don't need to be stocked. They don't need our advances in technology. These fish continue to persevere even when we change the river, modify their environment, and stack the odds against them. This river is in my heart, it's in my blood. There are a lot of days where I'll fish the whole day and not catch anything. So that leads me to believe that it's not the smallmouth I'm out here after. It's the connection with this quiet place. This is one of the only places where I feel like I kind of get a glimpse into the past. Sometimes I think I convince myself that, that the river isn't a whole lot different than it was two centuries ago when my ancestors first came here. This is where I'm from, this is where my family's from, and this river is my home. <laughs>